Hello everyone, I am Shamant Gowda, faculty at Insights. I welcome you once again for the CSAT series question of the day 15. This question I have picked from mensuration. The topic here is mensuration. In mensuration, you will be having 2D as well as 3D questions. Okay. Mensuration means that is the science of measuring of lines, angles, shapes that can be surface area or else volume or else space occupied. That is volume only. Okay. In this question, he has given a figural question here. Okay. This is a rectangular shape. We can consider this as a rectangular shape field in which there is a path here running in this direction. Okay. Like this. This is the path. Okay. They are called pathway questions. This is the pathway or the road you can say or else a jogging track he can be he can ask. Find the area of the path here. Whatever the area you are seeing here, okay, you have to find the area of this path. What is the area enclosed? Always a rectangle is a parallelogram. Okay, parallelogram means two opposite sides will be parallel. Okay parallel and equal. In this case, this is a parallelogram, rectangle is a parallelogram and the area of any parallelogram is nothing but base into height, base into height. Okay. If I consider this base is nothing but length, okay, L, length and this height as H. Okay. So, area of this rectangle becomes area is equal to length into breadth, isn't it? This whole area is nothing but length into breadth in which you have an path here running in this direction or else he can give midway, okay, midway means there is a rectangular field in which the path runs in the midway means you have to write the diagram figure like this, okay. Now, this is 10 and this is also, okay, it is not x here, this is also 10, consider this as 10, not x. This is also 10. This whole length is 10 here. Okay. And this is 10 here. What is the area here? See, area is nothing but I can consider this whole thing as a rectangle here, isn't it or not? This whole thing is a rectangle of height 10 and this width is 100, isn't it? So, the area becomes what? 10 into 100, that is nothing but 1000. Okay. 1000, isn't it? I have considered this whole thing here. Similarly, now, if I consider this area now, this area, I have considered this area, this area nothing but, okay, here its width is 10 and its height is nothing but 50. So, the area becomes length into breadth or else width into height, whatever it is, 10 into 50, okay. So, 10 into 50 is nothing but 500, plus 500 I am writing. Okay, see this 1000 is nothing but this area and this 500 is nothing but this area. But in this whole thing of calculation here, we have double counted here. Look here now. This much we have double counted here, right? While counting from here to here also, I have counted this area and while counting from here to here also, I have counted this area. So, this area have to be subtracted. What is this area now? This is 10 and this is 10. So, this is nothing but 10 into 10 that is equal to 100. That much you have to subtract here, isn't it? This 100 is nothing but the mid part here, okay, minus 100. So, this is nothing but 1500 minus 100, that is 1400, okay, 1400 square meters. And this is the answer for this question. This is the yesterday's bouncer question. We shall go to a shop to buy a radio costing rupees 2568. Okay, the price of the radio is rupees 2568. The rate of sales tax is 7%. Means along with this 2568, you have to pay 7%. 7% of 2568. Okay. He tells the shopkeeper to reduce the price of the radio to such an extent that he has to pay only rupees 2568. Okay, this is how he is doing the bargain now, inclusive of sales tax. See, Vishal says, I won't give 2568 plus 7 percent. He says, whatever this price here, okay, 2568, 
rather than paying 2568 plus 7% that is that in certain amount i'll pay only rupees 2568 so whatever the adjustment you do you do okay he tells to shopkeeper that he pays only rupees 2568 inclusive of the sales tax now find the reduction needed in the price of the radio so now the shopkeeper has to reduce the price see if you put 2568 and 7% this is definitely more than 2568 okay so now 2568 that's what vishal is having and he is offered 2568 now you have to reduce or as the shopkeeper has to reduce this amount okay minus he do something so that whatever the amount this on this one if you put 7% it should be equal to 2568 2568 now this is the question how much has to be reduced here okay look here now see Let's consider this original two five six eight whatever you are seeing here as hundred percent value. Okay, originally hundred percent, and seven percent has to be tax. So totally, this amount will be one zero seven percent, isn't it or not? Okay. Now this is the new value, new hundred percent. Okay, this hundred percent is different. This hundred percent is different. This is the new hundred percent plus seven percent means this is one not seven percent, isn't it or not? This one zero seven percent. Is equal to how much here? Two five six eight. If one zero seven percent is equal to two five six eight, okay. If I find out hundred percent value, I'll get this value right, okay. If one zero seven percent is equal to two five six eight, if you cross multiply, then one percent is nothing but twenty four. Hundred percent is nothing but two thousand four hundred, okay. Hundred percent percent values. 2400 from 2568 to make it 2400 how much must be the reduction here 168 reduction or adjustment the shopkeeper has to make he should give the discount or else okay 168 so 168 is the answer for this question now and this is the bouncer of the day question i have taken the same figure here in the earlier figure we found out the area here we have to find out the perimeter here okay this is the perimeter perimeter means whatever the outer boundary you are seeing here okay what is the length of this outer boundary and this is these are your options okay guys thank you and keep watching the video we'll meet you in the next video